Um, but using them over and over, I've thrown them away. I think they've got some earwax on them. I've never had an ear infection before. I still don't think I have, but uh, what I had was um, in the eustachian tube, I had, uh, that's the tube that runs down your ear into your throat, got impacted with um, earwax. And I suffered with that for a couple of months, went to the doctor and they, they uh, gave me these drops. Um, you can get two boxes of these for six twenty-seven. last I checked a week ago on Amazon. Or you can get one for four twenty-seven. It's a different name brand at Walmart. And I think I ended up using, you can use it, um, it's, it was prescribed uh, two drops up to four times, oh no, twice, excuse me, twice a day. But on the bottle it says five to ten drops. Uh, for up to four, twice a day for up to four days. Um, I think I used it twice a day, probably 10 drops, which maybe was a, uh, half the bottle. And they sent me back in and when they did, um, what I suggest doing with this, apparently it's not exact science. If you get this, uh, use the five to 10 drops twice a day for at least one day, if not two days. I don't know what's going on with the camera. I don't know how to fix that, so hopefully it'll just stop. Looks like it's pulsing or something. And they put a mat on my shoulder and a pan of water. And the nurse five or six times took this syringe, which I think you can get one uh, for a couple of dollars on AliExpress or um, Amazon. I don't know if they sell these at Walmart. I don't know if I've ever seen them. It's just a large syringe, and she would. She took, filled it all the way up with water. You just stick it in, in some kind of container and then push it out in the person's ear. And I was amazed at the amount of earwax that came out. Uh, there was a lot of relief. You had to do it four or five times. I don't, rec I don't recommend um, stopping. Just keep going until nothing more comes out. Not that they empty the pan uh, so you can tell that there's still more coming out. And then it has a special tip. I haven't seen one of these before, but it has four holes in it. I don't know where you can get these if they're selling on uh, Amazon or on AliExpress or, or Walmart. Um, I don't know how much of a difference it made, but I don't know if you can see there, but it's got four holes. No, I'm sorry, three holes. It's got three holes there, and I guess it just funnels the water out um, a little deeper in your ear. Because if you don't have this, it's just going to it's gonna spray out. It's not going to get... I don't think it'll go deep enough in your ear. You may try it without it. I mean, if you're in, if you're being um, putting a lot of discomfort, uh, you know, do what you got to do. Try to figure out a way to get out of it. I watched several videos before I went to the doctor. And this is why I suffered for the couple of months on YouTube. The best ones that came up, the first ones. Hopefully, this is going to replace it because they didn't help. Um, one guy had said he came up with some kind of special technique um, how to um, massage your ear and maybe that'll help if you got an ear infection what I did is I took two fingers and if you kind of make some some kind of suction you squeeze down low and then you just use this low part of your ear um, if you do one side or the other and then both at the same time you can you can actually feel a, a pressure change that may give you a little bit more um, uh, relief, a little bit more uh, uh, less irritation. Um, it was it was probably kind of it was unusual right afterwards that it it, uh, it felt very clean, and then it was probably kind of uh, almost stingy, itchy for another day. But um, hopefully this will help you if you you could try this first if you have any kind of ear infection at all. Um, it's not going to make things worse, and you just use. Uh, lukewarm water, you might want to put a little bit of salt in it. That should help kill any bacteria in your ear. Um, I really don't know how it would, it, this is a specialized form of hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if regular hydrogen peroxide would work. I, I kind of doubt it. This is called um, carbamide peroxide. It's 6.5% uh, and that's that's the same percentage I've seen all of them. I think uh, the rest is sterilized water. Uh, it doesn't really give you a lot of, um, since it's from a pharmaceutical company, it doesn't give you a list of the ingredients. Uh, but this, I highly recommend this is the first thing you try. Um, 
please like, subscribe, thumb up this video. Hopefully this will be the first one that comes up from now on um, when somebody searches with an ear infection or any kind of earache. Thank you. Dr. Bosal.